Well, I wasn't planning on doing another video for this game this month, but I found a way to hit the max damage cap in this game, so I decided to name this deck, you know, Maximum Carnage. Because, you know, it's the maximum amount of damage we can do. Um, I decided to go against Kribo because it's the easiest opponent to set up on for pulling this off. I mean, let's face it, you're not usually going to need to do the, the same amount of damage we're going to do, you know, this episode. And we're going to use Magician of Faith to help with it, but... For now, we will, um, play Messenger of Peace. And summon Dancing Fairy. Mainly because I don't want to summon the other one with zero attack points, because assuming he has, you know... Iron, uh, not Iron, Giant. Um, giant Soldier of Stone, he can screw me over. Why do I want to call it the Iron Giant? I do not know. Apparently I got the Iron Giant on my brain for some reason. Oh, good. I'll pay it. I don't want to pay it, but I'll pay it. Yeah, I'll add that to my hand, obviously. I mean, what other spell card are we going to play in this deck? I mean, this is a variance based on um, the Agent of series, so... Of course, you know, I gotta give it respect. Okay. We'll leave you in attack mode and... Hope he doesn't summon, you know, the giant soldier of stone. Well, that can't attack either, so whatever. It's not like I plan on attacking. Do what you want, man. Yeah, I gotta pay it. Ugh, it's painful. Well, summon it in attack mode. I want to use Magician of Faith to revive Mystic Walk, because it'll be really helpful for getting lots of life points, you know, once we get the advantage. And that was a really pointless move. Unless you have some way to get rid of Messenger of Peace. No. Ugh. Okay, I also need to get Premature Burial, but... I got time for that at the moment. Um, let's see. I'll set you. After all, I can sacrifice you for a 2,000 gain next turn. So it's fine. Ooh, just a little too many. If only they could lower it. What card am I going to use? What, you expecting a Mystic Walk? That monster in particular? Why? Uh, I wish I'd find one of my other cards for this, though. Um... Yeah, I'll summon on this thing. No, because I got nothing to combo with it. Why does the game keep asking me about combos I don't even have access to? <laughs> Snatch and steal, huh? Why would you steal it, then put it in defense mode? Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, now you're just giving me the same amount of life points I would have gotten if I'd kept the darn thing. Unless he's planning on sacrificing at some point. Jeez. What a terrible decision. Like one of the most pointless decisions I've ever seen. Yeah, he didn't even like nick my life points hardly. That maneuver. So stupid. And I mean my life point gain. Like what was the point? Well, and turn. Okay. Yeah. Gonna play something interesting this time? So he just negated his own monster. Jeez. Then people wonder why they mock why some people mock the AI in these games. Like it literally just made a move that completely nerf the whole value of that monster by having it be able to run over my monster that are gaining me life points. Yeah, why, why wouldn't I keep paying the cost? Boom. Give me 2,000 more life points. But I'm gonna need a lot more to pull off maximum damage. I'll set that, though. Come on, I need 
agent of Mars here in Premature Barrel. The problem is I don't have any real way to get to him. Oh, good, he fi No, he nerfed that one too! What on earth is he thinking? I'm just gonna assume he's not thinking. And it's mystifying me as to why not. Huh. <sighs> Jeez. Okay, end turn. Sad part is now I got too many monsters on the field. I need to get rid of one. Well, only one thing to do. Draw a card and hope for the best. Seriously, I got nothing to play there. I mean, I could win the duel instantly by blowing up Agent of Judgment, but... I, I need more. This ain't enough to hit max. Not even close. <sighs> Let's see, draw. Well, that'll help me out if I manage to get broken here. Still need way more. Way, way more life points. That's why I want Agent of Mars, gosh darn it. Well, Agent of Forest Mars, because I can Mystic Walk it for a massive amount of life points to help speed this up. But I need to draw the darn thing to do that. And there's three of them in this deck, and I just don't have any way to really get to him quickly since I'm trying to stall my opponent out, so it's just like, draw and hope. Come on, if I could find one, I'd practically be there at this point. Yes, pay the cost. Well, draw phase. Neither of us can really do anything, we're waiting on the right cards. No, no, just just do it. Boom, that's that's really nice. Yep, pay the price. I know I can let it blow up, but why would I want to do that? Yes, I'd like to activate the effect of this card. And tribute this monster. The gain twenty one thousand life points. Yeah, I was waiting for that. We're close. I, if I can find one more, I can do it, as long as I get a Mystic Walk. Which wouldn't be hard. Uh, I don't want to summon the Cure Mermaid. The rate increase just wouldn't be good enough. Now, White Magician of Pikachu, I could see myself playing that. Come on. Give me White Magician of Pikaru. Not another Cure Mermaid. Darn it, game. I want the White Magician. She's the best. Not really, but she's what I want, darn it. Screw you, Cure Mermaid. You're not good enough. Plus 800. That's good enough for Fire Princess. It ain't good enough for me. Not with what we want to do. Well, now, I could play, um, that in conjunction with what I'm doing, so let's do it. Level hair limit B. Okay, we could set you and get the Mystic Walk back, at least. Would be hard to get rid of her, though. I suppose that is what the Mystic Walk would be for, sacrificing a few of those for some minor gains for bigger gains later. But I need other cards for that to work. Come on. Yeah, I'll pay it. Okay. No, I don't have any other cards I can activate. Come on, Mystic Walk! If I can draw that, I can then go for it. I, I don't even care after that, because I'll hit max damage, so it's not gonna matter. Oh, you're preventing me from attacking? That's fine. I wasn't playing on it anyway. 
I still just want Mystic Walk, darn it. Okay. End turn. I got no use for any of that stuff. Yes, I will toss the Cure Mermaid from my hand. It's the least useful card I have in my hand right now. Ooh, flew a summoning Karibo. Nice. Oh, we can do it! I mean, we can't get the ridiculous, you know, monster attack points I'd love to see, but we can get the, um, absolutely ridiculous damage output. Yeah, I actually managed to get my monster to reach an attack, my agent of Force Mars, to reach 229,500. So, absolutely ridiculous amount of attack points. But for now, let's tribute our friend here. Yes, we've reached the maximum displayable amount of life points. So as I said, I reached 229,500 attack points, so... That's not the maximum amount of life points you can hold. It just reached its display limit. It can't go any higher. Which is fine with me. So now it's time to activate the Agent of Judgment Saturn. That's right, you saw it. 65,535. That's the maximum amount of damage you can deal in this game. Because at that point, the game can't even calculate, you know anymore, because it only has 16 bits assigned for damage calculation. So that's literally the maximum you can do with the amount of available digit space it has. So lame. Like, I don't want to be able to do 200,000 plus points of damage, gamut, damn it. Sure, it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, why would you ever need to do that much damage to kill somebody? Unless, you know, you're facing a deck like this and they manage to stall you out that long. Though, if you had to do this to try and turn it around at that point, you're probably boned. <laughs> But yeah, completely ridiculous amount of damage. I honestly can't think of any other combo that could really pull that off in this game, to be honest. But maybe there's another deck that could do it that doesn't rely on the um, Agent of series. I mean, I could do that, obviously, with Agent of Force Mars, too, if I had one, you know, summon to attack a monster. Just cream it for maximum amount of life point damage for an OTK, but it just takes too long. Maybe if there's more ways to reliably get all the pieces I need for, you know, summoning Agent of Force Mars, sacrificing it with Mystic Walk when I was way ahead, and, you know, just keep bringing them back out over and over and over again for a Mystic Walk sacrifice. But you gotta get, you know, Magician of Faith. You gotta have that one um, spirit monster you can summon, you know, flip a monster back down. You gotta have, like, Premature Burial as well, because you need a magic card you can use to revive a monster, and you can't use Monster Born you know, on the ban list I'm on. I could use Monster Reincarnation, I suppose, to put back in my hand. Um, oh, and for those curious, yeah, I did get some new mice back there. Um, Ling Ling has passed away, so I got five new young mice. I got Talia, Patches, Spot, Ten Ten, and Perfume. Um, Spot just has a black spot around one eye. Um, Patches has some around her ears. I think she might have some somewhere else, but mostly it's just around her back of her head. Talia is just pure white. Perfume's a new black one who's got some slight, you know, off coloring issues on her underside. Not very notable, though. And um, 1010 has um, a black top with a brown underside. And I just like the coloring pattern there. So I was just like 10 out of 10. So, yep, that's, that's the cho choice of names for you. Till next time, then. See ya.